Shalom and welcome. My name is Robert Lee Williams, founder of Prophetic Information Ministries, where we blow the trumpet, the shofar, around the world, informing you with prophetic news and bringing God's miracle ministry to the world. This is part two of the teaching or the prophetic message of ministers wake up and that means you this is part two God is God of love he loves us all God the Father loves us. That is why He sent His Son Jesus Christ to come down here to die for us. And Jesus did. He overcome the world. He overcame Satan. And now Jesus is asking us all to go out and to do our call of God. That's right, we're all ministers of the gospel. We are to preach to people around us. Some of us are to get behind the pulpits. Some are to be evangelists. Some are to be apostles, prophets, teachers pastors, evangelists, and intercessors. But some of you got your head in the sand. Some of you are asleep. That's right. You're asleep. And you know it. You know God has put something in your heart. He gave you a call of God and you know it. You're sitting back, sitting here in your chair watching me. Yeah, I know, i got a call of God on my life. But I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Well, you're sitting in front of a computer. Open up your Bibles. That's right, open up your Bibles. The Word of God. And you sit on your knees. You get on your knees and pray to Jesus. Pray to God. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's who you need to pray to. And He will direct your path. He will give you the wisdom and the knowledge for you to go out. And to bring in His harvest. To bring His people unto Him. I want to tell you something. If you sit back and don't do nothing, you're going to regret it. Because God has already preordained, I guess you could say, the people He's going to put in your path to speak to, to speak the Word of God to, to give them wisdom, to give them life experiences that God has put you through. To help them people out. But I'm going to tell you something. If you don't speak to that person. Or if you don't start doing what God has told you to do. Then he won't need you anymore. I'm going to tell you about a friend of mine. His name was Jerry. He was 65 years old. He had a big call of God on his life. You could say he had a gift. I kind of wish I had this gift. And he was like a subscribe. God would talk to him and he would write things down. I read some of the stuff that he wrote down. They were phenomenal. I knew this was from God. And he was supposed to get this message out. Well, he got to the age of 65. And I met him when he was about 63. I knew him for almost two years. 
and we become good friends. And uh, I told him, I'd bring him to church, and, and he would get prophetic words that things that he was supposed to do, and God confirmed things that he knew that God was speaking to him. But you know, he said, oh, I think this is like, oh, about five years ago. It was like on December 21st. Said this to me the last time. He said, Robert, what does God want with a 65-year-old man? What can I do for him? He says, I don't want to do what you say God told me to do. Well, I didn't hear from him the next day. Or the next. Christmas morning, I get a knock on the door from a police officer and the police chaplain informing me that my friend has died. Died in his apartment the very night that I dropped him off. Because he refused his call of God. He didn't want to go on with it. He quit working. And yes, he did get in to some of the occult readings of an occult book. He knew it was wrong, but he knew his call of God. Because God spoke to him. So, instead of spending Christmas with my, with my family, I was cleaning out his apartment. And that place stunk real bad. You know, I believe he may have went to heaven. But I sure would hate to be him when he stood in front of Jesus. Because he denied his call of God. So people, ministers, it's time for you to wake up. Get you a webcam like I got. Do your teachings. Get out there on YouTube. It's free. It doesn't cost anything. This is a tool for you to reach the hearts of millions. Millions! Because we are in the last days. Just look around. You can see it. You can feel it. You know the Antichrist and his system is coming into place. Hell is going to open up big time here, people. And I'm going to try my best with the help of God, Yeshua, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, with their help, I'm going to start plucking people away from Lucifer and his demons. I don't want him to get not one single soul. I am going to fulfill John 14, 12. Look that up. I'm going to fulfill it because God said I was. He said, I am He. And I'm taking that. And I'm going to live that out. Am I a perfect man? No, I'm a sinner just like you are. But I repent. And I am going to try my best not to sin again. Will I succeed? No. But when I fall, I will get on my knees again. And ask for his forgiveness. That's why Jesus got up on the cross to do. To forgive us. We are under grace people. Grace of God right now. Because he loves you. And if you do not know. God as your personal savior. Or if you keep saying. I'm just a sinner. 
I've done a lot of bad things in my life, and I just can't fulfill my call of God. I can't do it. I'm ashamed of myself. God's ashamed of me. No, He's not. He loves you. He wants to put His loving arms around you. Step out in faith today and say to God, Change me, Lord. Change me for who I am. And to forgive me of all my sins. And if you need some help with that, repeat after me. Dear Heavenly Father, I am a sinner. Forgive me for what I've done against you. Come into my heart and change me. Change me so I can serve you. Because you died on the cross and I know Jesus you are the Son of God. Come into my life and change me and make me the minister. Make me the man or woman of God that you said I am. And give me the help to wake up and to go into the harvest and to bring your people unto Him. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I want to thank you for tuning in today. And uh, I think I'm going to make a part three. A part three to this message. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you in part three.